This is a proof of concept prosthetic arm that I built for a startup project. I felt it would be an intriguing piece of content to talk about this year. Some of the things I learned, how I built it, what are some of the functionalities of this arm that you're seeing. Well, this prototype caters to the upper limb amputee market, specifically transradial and transhumeral amputees. Well, this arm was initially developed to challenge two issues in the upper limb prosthetic space. One was the exorbitant costs associated with upper limb prosthetics, and two, the heavy dependency on myoelectric sensors. Myoelectric what? That's probably a question you have, right? Well, a myoelectric sensor is something that's used to detect muscle movements in the residual limb of an amputee and then use that movement and convert that into signals and basically get the arm to move. That's the high-level explanation of, of myoelectric sensors. Obviously, there are many complexities associated with the myoelectric sensor, but all that adds to the cost of the prosthetic arm, and that's probably for another video, but that's one of the reasons why the arm is really expensive. My solution was to use TOF sensors or time-of-flight sensors, where they measure how distant the object is from itself by measuring the time taken for the wave pulse that's emitted from the sensor to the object. They're inexpensive, quite reliable, and work very well for this prosthetic arm. So what are some of the functionalities of the arm? Yes, yes, to answer my own question, the first one would be individual finger movements. The next one is wrist rotation based on object position. Well, based on where the object is with respect to the palm, the sensors detect that and align the palm perpendicular to the object, so object tracking. And finally, opening and closing of the arm. Based on how far the object is from the palm, the fingers dynamically move to either grab or let go of the object. Well, the fingers move based on string tension. A string is wrapped around the horn of the servo motor and travels all the way up through to the tip of the finger. When the servo motor rotates, it pulls on the string and the finger coils. So that was a little demonstration of how the arm worked. If you'd like to get an inside scoop on how the arm was actually built, the structure of the arm, the code, the circuit design, etc., do click the link right here and this will redirect you to another video that I'd made that goes into the depths of how the arm was actually built, every single bit of it. And that being said, I have a couple of extra clips that talk about how this project came to fruition right from the initial concept design to what it looks like right now. Do check it out. I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, this was great. Bye bye. Five fingers, one wrist, yeah, four motors. There are four motors in a wrist and the motor inside. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of relevant. So, so one finger does it. No, so what I'm going to do is I'll have one uh, serve for this side, another serve for this, another serve for this. And let's go with another high five, buddy. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's it. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> finger, buddy. Go for it. Thank you. A <laughs> hug, hug. Oh, come oh, on, man. No, no, no. oh, no. Congrats, buddy. Congrats. Look at these two beautiful brothers. Oh, <laughs> you got a high five handshake? Yeah, high five handshake. The prosthetic arm. Let's go. Yay.